Can Treyarch save the Call of Duty franchise with Black Ops 6? Let's talk about it. Ultimate Combo. Welcome everyone back to Twisted Gaming TV. Glad you're here. Today's video, we are going to talk about the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Okay. I've been a long, long time fan of the Call of Duty series. Been playing them all the way since the very first one. Now, my favorite ones are from the Treyarch studio. Uh, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. All time favorite. Really good, really good games. Third one was kind of, uh, it, it was getting a little out of hand. Black Ops 4, didn't really care for it. I didn't really like that when it got too goofy when they started doing all the weird maps and stuff. But now a new one's coming out from Treyarch, so hopefully they can bring back the nostalgia of Black Ops 1 and 2 with Black Ops 6. Hopefully they can save the series. So let's get into it. Now starting off with footage of Black Ops 1. I love this game a lot. Brings back the nostalgia from hell. This was a really good game. Like I said, I've played all the games. Modern Warfare, all the old, old ones. But Black Ops 1 really brought me to my knees on gameplay and multiplayer. I love this game a lot. And it was one of my favorites uh, of the series. Now we're checking out footage from Black Ops 2. They continued to go up the bar on the next uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This one had some amazing maps. I really, really loved the maps in this game. Very good, very nostalgia, and I just wish they would re- do the Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, but maybe someday, who knows. But this game was a very, very good game. Now we're looking at footage of Black Ops 3, okay? This is one of the first Call of Duties where you could run on the walls, um, which was pretty awesome. I, I kind of liked running on the wall still. That was pretty different or whatever, but the maps in this were really awesome. Really loved this game a lot. And what was cool about this one is I always were big into the collector's editions and they came out with the, the mini fridge, the uh, Juggernog fridge, and I have one of those. Thank God I got one of those. But um, really good game right here. Sick maps from hell on this. Now we're looking at Black Ops 4. Now this one I didn't really like. I just It just felt different. And it just, it just really didn't bring me uh, happiness compared to 1, 2, and 3. Of course, 1 and 2 um, was the best. But 4 just kind of, it was losing its fire. I just, I don't understand what happened. But it is what it is. I buy all the Call of Duty games every year anyway, so it doesn't matter. But sometimes you win some, you lose some. But this... Black Ops 4, I feel it was just a loss. I didn't really like it at all. And this is the one where they came out with the um, Mystery Box Collector's Edition, which was pretty dope. I have two of them, so if anybody wants a brand new one in box, hit me up. I'll sell it to you because I have two of them. <laughs> now we are checking out Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, a.k.a. Black Ops 5. Now... This one I really enjoyed and still enjoy. I think they brought back the fire with this one. I loved the maps on this one, just like the, the, the Miami map. I mean, this game was very beautiful. They did a really good job on this one. But uh, yeah, Miami map was sick. They had a desert map. I mean, all these maps were dope. So I really loved the Cold War Uh Call of Duty. So this this was a really good one. Very good. Now this brings us to Black Ops 6. The one that's coming out this year. Around October. Anyways. So they released a little 
trailer. You know, it's just a little live trailer. Uh, we don't know what the game looks like or what it is or how it's going to play, what the graphics look like, what the maps, what the gameplay, what the war zone. We don't know anything about it until June 9th, until they reveal it, which is most likely going to be a CGI uh, animated of the game. It's not probably going to show any gameplay because they never do that. First, they bring out the CGI trailer and then later on they bring out the multiplayer and all the other crap anyways the first trailer looks pretty cool you know it keeps your mind wondering what's the game gonna look like how's it gonna be you know how they gotta build up the the momentum but um black ops 6 so hopefully this one will continue from the the nice black ops 1 black ops 2 and black ops 3 before they fell off on black ops 4 and then when they did cold war you know there's a lot of people that might not like cold war but i know a lot of people that do but anyways here's our chance to redeem ourselves again because the last call of duties weren't really that great i didn't like vanguard that was a total trash game really bad that was probably one of their worst. But anyways, we got Black Ops 6 coming from Treyarch. They've been working on it for four years. Hopefully that's enough time to make it a masterpiece. And you know, since it's a Black Ops game, guess what? Nuketown map will be coming back. You know it will be the all-time favorite. So it would be nice to see what the uh, Nuketown map would look like this time. Because you know it's coming. Now, another thing is I would really love for them to bring out uh, a collector's edition of Black Ops 6 with something neat. The fridge is probably the all-time best one collector's edition they ever did. The Juggernaug fridge back here. That is probably the coolest collector's edition they ever done out of all Call of Duties. And it's the, you know, the most crazy expensive one, too. If you can find one on eBay, it's it's up there. I think the fridge alone is like five or six hundred dollars now. So thank God I bought that. But uh, anyways, a nice collector's edition. I hope they come out with something really neat to like really bring back the fire of the Black Ops. Because I think the Black Ops Call of Duties are some of the best ones they've ever made. So... Hoping for that, hoping for good maps, good graphics. Um, you know, who knows if they're going to take the uh, matchmaking crap away that everybody hates. But it doesn't really bother me, so I don't care what they do on that. I just want it to be a good, balanced, good game. Good weapons, maps are nice. You know, uh, gameplay is nice. Um, that's all I'm wishing for, you know. Like I said, there's been a, a few Call of Duties that I haven't been happy with. Black Ops 4 sucked. Um, Vanguard sucked. Um, and a few others. Um, what was those other ones? Advanced Warfare and all that other crap. Those were garbage. I didn't like those either. But anyways, just want to make this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you very excited for Black Ops 6? And we'll have to wait till June 9th to see what they pop up. Like I said, it's probably just going to be a CGI trailer of the game. And then they'll say, hey, um, in July or whenever else, you know, uh, we're going to see the multiplayer and the war zone and all that other crap. But very excited that it's Black Ops 6. Treyarch is back. And hopefully they can knock this one out of the water. Here's hoping. Anyways, thanks for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Y'all have a great day. Till next video. Peace. Ultimate.